we have met together to thank God for the blessings of freedom and good government and to pray for his help. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. Honor and glory are in his presence. Strength and gladness are in his place. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord, for thou shalt judge the people righteously. Let thy mercy, O Lord, be upon us, according as we hope in thee. Let us pray. O God, who has promised to reveal thy presence to those who look to thee in perfect praise, send us the gracious aid of thy spirit of grace and prayer, that our prayers and thanksgiving may be acceptable unto thee. Amen. Let us sing the hymn, O oh God, our help in ages past. us 
in the heritage of our country, grant us grace that we may be faithful to our trust and when the time comes, may show our love in true service. Amen. Fernandez and the school vice captain and it's my privilege this morning to lead you all through the rest of today's program on this special day. I would now like to call upon our senior academic coordinator Ms. Esther Selvaraj to share her thoughts on this momentous occasion. American polymath Benjamin Franklin once said, only virtuous people are capable of freedom. Good morning, dear parents and students. It is with great joy in my heart that I wish you all a very happy Republic Day. Today, we celebrate the 73rd Republic Day of the world's largest and most vibrant democracy. With pride in our hearts, we have gathered together to not only express our utmost respect for our nation, but also to reaffirm our faith in our sacred constitution. With the implementation of our constitution 72 years ago, we, the people of India, received the privilege of enjoying our basic human rights. We are now able to walk our land freely, get an education, share our opinions, choose our religion, practice our culture, and so much more. In short, we are no longer slaves, but diligent followers of the acts and laws of our esteemed land. Our constitution aims to secure justice, liberty, equality to all citizens, and promotes fraternity amongst its people. However, after so many decades, can we confidently say that we have been successful in achieving these high ideals? Can we boldly confess that every citizen of this glorious nation enjoys each of their rights? Very often, we tend to blame our leaders for the sad state of some of our fellow citizens. However, today, the need of the hour is to shift our focus from others to ourselves. What have we, as citizens of this great country, done to uphold the values and ideals of our constitution in our day-to-day -day life? Or do we feel that upholding the constitution is someone else's responsibility and not us? Let us then work in unison towards providing justice to our fellow students and the people whom we come in touch with. Let us be bold enough to express our views when we know that it is the truth. Let us sincerely wish that each one of our fellow citizens, including our helpers, support staff and their children, get equal opportunities. In his speech to the Constituent Assembly, Dr. Baba Sahib Ambedkar had cautioned that the working of a constitution does not depend on the document itself, but on the people who are tasked with implementing it. I would like to end my address with the words of the former President of India, Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam. Courage to give, courage to think different, courage to invent, courage to discover the impossible, courage to travel, into an unexplored path, courage to share knowledge, courage to remove pain, courage to reach the unreached, courage to combat problems and succeed are the qualities of the youth. I'm confident that the future of our country is in safe hands because you are the future. I truly believe that when we can the nation can. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Love of one's country is a splendid thing, 
it instills in us a sense of great pride. Students of grades K3 to 5 express their patriotism and love for their country through various activities to celebrate the 73rd Republic Day. While grade 1 worked on the theme One Nation, One Vision and One Identity, grade 2 talked about what the Constitution gave us, faith, freedom, peace and pride, and they also performed a dance on patriotic songs. Grade 3 pointed out how India is an incredible country where heroes are born every day. Grade 4 made presentations on the formations of Indian states, their history and famous personalities from that state. Grade 5 expressed their dreams for the country through their artistic drawings, compositions and poetic verses. I am sure that you'll love this delightful presentation. Republic Day is celebrated as a national holiday in India. Some watch the grand parade on the television. The Prime Minister of India pays tribute at India Gay to the brave soldiers. Public Day of India is celebrated on the 26th of January every year. We did not get freedom in a flash, but took many decades and numerous struggles for our freedom fighters to achieve independence. Let us remember their sacrifices. Happy Republic Day!
love for one's motherland is the most powerful and uplifting feeling. Coming up next is a melodious rendition of a medley comprising Ma Tuje Salam and One Day Mataram by the students of Grade 3 who want to salute their motherland through their song. is no less than an honor for me. Our constitution confers upon each Indian citizen freedom as their birthright. No surprise then that Republic Day, the birthday of our constitution, holds such a special place in our hearts. So why not relive the history of our constitution as the students of grades 5, 6 and 7 bring to you the making and the importance of our constitution. Well, 
students, I have a special assignment for you, owing to the non-instructional day tomorrow. Miss, please, no homework. We are just getting one holiday this month. No homework. My dear students, it's not a holiday. And this assignment is really useful as you can complete a major chunk of your MTA 2 portion if you just put your mind to it. Your assignment is to find out all about the public day and its significance. There are videos and other ready resources available online. So please do your research. Sure, Miss. We will definitely do it. That's wonderful. This is the end of today's class. Thank you, students. Have a wonderful day ahead. Come on. We have a 10 minutes break now, right? Let's search some videos on the internet about Republic Day. Come on, friends. Let's not delay. Look, I found a video. Let's watch it. We have been oppressed for years together. The battle for freedom has been a long and arduous journey. And now, the people of independent India needed a voice of their own. The Constituent Assembly therefore comprised the different shades of opinions, communities and classes of India. We are here to discuss the fate of our united India ensuring that the people of this new India aren't denied their rights. A democratic republic would be the answer to our dilemma. Members of the assembly, I would like to propose a rule book to govern our country called the constitution. Several like-minded people from our country formulated the constituent assembly. The constitution of India was framed by a constituent assembly. They took two years 11 months and 18 days to complete the task. We must begin with we, the people of India, as the sovereignty rests with the people of India. This means that the constitutional authorities and organs of the government derive their power only from the people. That's right. Let's not forget about the social and economic inequalities that have been inherent in the Indian traditional society. Socialism too should be made a constitutional value aimed at promoting social change and transformation to end all forms of inequalities. Let's not forget that when we call India a home, it should house all major religions in the world. In the context of this plurality, Secularism, too, is a great constitutional value. Since Mr. Nehru spoke about democracy, I would like to highlight that not only is India democratic, but also a republic. The most important symbol of being a republic is the office of the head of the state. That is, the president who is elected and not selected based on heredity. We should include social, economic and political justice as constitutional values. These will be instrumental in the creation of a new social order based on socio-economic justice. Justice must be availed to every citizen. Preamble must also prescribe liberty of thought, expression, Belief, faith, and worship as one of its core values. Besides that, Madam Kaur, the Constitution should ensure equality of status and opportunity to every one of its citizens for the development of the best in him or her. 
Lastly, I think that the value of fraternity should be included in the constitution as that stands for the spirit of common brotherhood among all the people of India. Therefore, giving meaning to all the ideals like justice, liberty, equality, the preamble should lay great emphasis on fraternity. And so, the constitution of India, one of the lengthiest constitutions in the whole world, with these values, was passed by the Constituent Assembly on 26 November 1949 and it came into force on 26 January 1950. And this day is celebrated as Republic Day every year. Well, not only do I know more about why we celebrate Republic Day, but also I'm prepared for my MTA2 paper. Yes, now we are all ready for our civics exam. More than 70 years after it was enacted, the Indian Constitution remains a vital and living document, strengthened by amendments, serving as both guide and protector of the Indian citizens and their elected officials. The Constitution is a backbone of country and we are lucky that ours is a strong one. Let us be thankful to those who gave strength to India and Indians through our Indian Constitution. We are proud to be Indians. Jai Hind! Students of grades 6 and 7 will now present an exhilarating dance as an expression of the joy and pride they feel about being an Indian. One day. सुनो गौर से दुनिया वालों बुरी नजर ना हम पे डालो चाहे जितना जोर लगा लो सबसे आगे होंगे हिंदुस्तान हमने कहा है तुम भी कहो हमने कहा Remind us to never take this country of ours for granted and to always abide by its constitutional rules as good citizens. This is our greatest calling. I wish you all a happy Republic Day. <laughs>